you know that I am a huge fan of keeping things as simple as possible. Hi there, welcome to the Bass Fishing Life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and punch that notification bell. Drop a comment, share the video. Thank you so much. Well, today we're going to be talking about jig trailers. Most of us on this channel and in this Facebook group fish jigs fairly often, and if you fish a jig, most likely you're putting some sort of a trailer on there. Well, I'm going to talk about three different jig trailers that will cover about every situation if you're confused about what trailer to use or maybe which one is best in what type of scenario. So let's go ahead and get started. By far and away, my favorite is some sort of a swimming trailer. Uh, this here is just a twin tail grub. This is a Rage Menace, but there's lots of different twin tail grubs on the market. And this is my go-to probably 75-80% of the time. And the reason being is I'm doing a lot of swimming or horizontal presentations with my jigs. This type of a trailer swims really well. It displaces a lot of water, which means you can fish it slowly and still maintain the depth that you're trying to target. And of course, it comes in a huge variety of colors. If you're fishing a body of water that has a lot of shad, alewives, those types of things, you're going to want to go more for those white types of colors. I use lots of green, green pumpkin, bluegill colors because a lot of the waters I fish, bluegill is the main forage base. So this is probably my number one jig trailer is some sort of swimming jig trailer. And you may be asking yourself, well, how do you know it's a swimming jig trailer? And the main thing that I look for is a slender body. When I put this on the jig, it's not real wide. It's a slender body. It's going to be pretty much covered up by the head of the jig. And it's going to come through the water column really well. Comes through vegetation really well. So probably my number one choice. Now if I'm fishing an area where the vegetation is really thick and it's pretty tough, uh, for example, if I'm fishing a lot around different types of pencil reeds or maybe some vegetation that just does not have a lot of give, I'm going to switch it to some sort of soft jerk bait. Now this one here is a straight tail. My preference would be a paddle tail um, instead of a straight tail, but this was the one I had quick access to. But it would be some sort of soft jerk bait with a paddle tail on the back of it. This type of a jig trailer comes through some really nasty vegetation and keeps your jig free and doesn't get all hung up on stuff. So I use that one. I probably only use that one maybe 5 to 10% of the time, but it is a really good choice. And the last type of jig trailer that I'm going to use if I'm skipping jigs especially or in and around some really heavy cover is going to be something that has a very wide body to it. So you can see on this particular little quarter ounce flipping jig, I've got a trailer on here that has a very wide body as compared to the twin tail grub, which has a very narrow body. This big flat surface area makes it just excellent for skipping type of situations for roll casting and getting it up underneath docks, limbs, trees, way back into weeds any sort of situation like that this really wide flat surface area is just dynamite for that type of a situation so if i'm fishing flipping pitching up into heavy cover i'm going to have some sort of jig trailer that is wider this is my go-to jig trailer when i'm flipping and pitching in heavy cover situations so i hope that this helps you out if you're new to the jig fishing scene or you find that there's so many choices out there on the marketplace keep it simple these are my top three that cover just about any possible situation that i could run across the only variation maybe is going to be the color that i use in a specific situation so i hope that this helps you out Hey, don't forget to go out there and encourage someone today. You never know what a difference you're going to make in their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.